So part of what we do here is to try to figure out what's legit, what's not. There's kind of a, uh, a debunking going on with everything. I was not planning, this is no one, I don't think anyone in the right mind plans to open a crypto paranormal museum, especially in the middle of nowhere. The fascination with Bigfoot, I think, is, you know, is it true? Is it really out there? Is it not? And one of the most common questions we get here all the time is, how does he get all everywhere? Well, it's not just one. They move in family pods. They're groups. This is why we get all different sized prints. A lot of stuff you watch these shows on TV, there's a lot of junk they put out there, but they have to. They gotta put a show on every week. We, we have the luxury of being able to pick and choose and put out the better stuff. Basically, you come here, you're gonna have a little bit of everything. You're gonna have uh, items you see, haunted items, like dolls. We have a casket here. We have a haunted hay crane, a rope that someone actually committed suicide with. And that's probably the creepiest thing we have. We collect old Ouija boards. Uh, on the cryptozoology, we have tons of prints, actual prints we've cast. We can give you a map of the area, show you where the things are uh, on public property, and not, uh, not give you private property stuff. I think the, uh, realizing that this sort of thing, is, there's nothing negative here. You know, spiritual or in the fact that we have a museum like this. This is a very positive thing for the community. It's a fun thing. We're doing events. It's, you know, it's a very niche market. It's outside the normal stuff that you're going to get, but that's what brings people off I-95. Uh, Steve's done a great job of promoting uh, the Bigfoot Museum, and uh, it's brought a lot of people into town and, and helped out with uh, all the local businesses. We've actually set up a database online so people can report sightings. We get everything. I mean, UFO sightings. We had a guy from Europe who was wondering if we could take a curse off and his ex-wife put on it. <laughs> not what we do, not what we do. I'm not here to change your mind. I'm here to, you know, basically if you come to Littleton, you can be entertained, buy a t-shirt, stop locally, gas up, we'll get a Bigfoot burger at the local diner. I mean, that's a big deal for us. We're happy you're coming here. I want to make sure you have a good time.